Coach, how big of a mental dagger was it to score right away and then, again, give the lead back so quickly? Well, it's uh, it's disappointing because it seemed like that was the case the whole series. Every time we scored, we get some momentum and uh, and we give it back shortly thereafter. And it, it, it's such a game of momentum when you can hang on to it. It, it certainly helps your team. Mike, I, I felt like your team played its best hockey of the season when it was at its most offensively responsible during February and March into April. I feel like they got away from that a little bit with all the odd man rushes in the series. Do you feel that way? And do you have an explanation for it? Yes, I do. And you know, it, it was it was something that that we talked a lot about before the series started because we knew we knew the type of game they were going to play and w and what we were up against. And and so we had to have. You know, and you can use however any vocabulary you want to describe it. We've talked about having patience with our game and taking what the game gives us and making better decisions with the puck, um, so we don't put ourselves in in some difficult circumstances. And uh, unfortunately, we put ourselves in some difficult circumstances. Mike, to, to follow up on that, was the message lost in translation at all? Uh, do you have any theories as to why you got away from the the solid? Uh, Low risk hockey we're playing no. in March in particular. No, I don't. I don't have an answer for it. You know, the, the reality is, is, is that, you know, we win as a group and we lose as a group, and we're all we're all a part of it. And so we've all got to take responsibility. It's disappointing. We had high expectations of this team. We believe we have good players, and we 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 had the the potential uh, to be a good team, and and we obviously did not play well enough to win. Mike, when did you get a sense that the series might be getting away from you? I, I didn't feel as though it was, you know, when you when you look at the the nature of the game, the way the games were played, it's a it's a whole lot closer than than the optics. You know, it, it, every game for that matter was was a one for the most part a one goal game. We might have given up a second one late in the game because we're pressing, but um, for the most part, you know, it was it was a pretty. It was a fairly even game, and you know it, it boils down to critical moments and, and making sure that you know you make the right plays at the right time. And um, you know you got to give the Islanders credit. They, you know, I, I tip my hat to the whole their their team. They played extremely well, um, and and so. But but from our standpoint, I know we're capable of being better. We didn't play as well as we're capable. Mike uh, Brian Rust just said, uh, speaking about the Islanders, we can learn from them when it comes to generating offense and using skill out of structure that exists with the team. Is the, Are the Islanders a good example of, like you tend to say, you don't want to take the sticks out of your guys' hands, but they can still get some offense from what they do well? Are they a good example of what you might be able to strive to do for next year in that context? Well, they're, you know, they're a team that's built on defense first, and, and they've certainly bought into that. And... Um, and so that that's that's their identity, you know. I, I think, you know, I think our identity is different based on the personnel that we have. But having said that, it's hard to win in the playoffs if you don't defend, and 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 you and you don't take care of the puck. And the, I think that's the lesson learned: is is we've got to we've got to be committed to playing a team game. You know, we've talked all season long about being a team that's difficult to play against. And, we're, and we know what that means, and we know the details associated with that. With our team, I think it always starts with our own puck possession and making sure we manage the puck the right way. And I think when we do that, we're a whole lot more difficult to play against because we don't give teams uh, easy opportunities. And, and so I, I think our, our identity is very different than theirs. You know, we, we've had success playing to this identity uh, we certainly didn't play to it as consistently enough this season as as we needed to to become the team that we had hoped we'd become. Mike, kind of a two-parter with this, but uh, any team in this position, I'm sure you would expect some semblance of change this summer. How tough is that for you personally, knowing these guys, the relationships you've built with them, and also if there is change, just uh, what direction maybe generally do you think that change should go? Well, that, that's a tough question to answer right now, Jason. I, you know, 15 minutes after we just lost, I, I've got to try to, you know, assess the whole thing over over the next little while. Certainly, what I what I will say is that I have so much respect for the group of players that we have. We have great people. They're character guys. They're good players, 
and uh, and our coaching staff uh, has a lot of respect for this group. It's it, it, it's a privilege to coach this team. And um, but having said that, it's it we have high expectations as well. And and when you don't meet meet those expectations, then everybody's got to take a step back and soul search and find out how do, how do we how do we what do we learn from it? What are the takeaways? And how do we how do we get better? And what those answers are, it, it's hard for me to say right now. Mike, you mentioned how every game went down to the wire there. Do you think their goaltending was, was maybe one of the biggest makers in the series? Well, he played extremely well. He made some timely saves for him. You have to give him credit. You know, um, it, it, There's a fine line between winning and losing. And so you know, I think, as I said, we win as a team, we lose as a team. It's, I think it's hard to identify any one position and say that's the reason. You know, I, I think it's a, it's a team thing. It's a team game. 